Hello everyone and welcome to Financial and Material Resource Management. At this point, I will be discussing with everyone the debt and gas debt programs. GASPA is known as the Government Assistance to Students and Teachers in Private Education. The GASPA Act or Republic Act 6728 was amended by RA 8545 known as the Expanded GASPA or E-GASPE Act. E-GASPE was further expanded by RA 10533 or the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 to cover the senior high school. Here are the programs under GASPE. Education Service Contracting Teacher Salary Subsidy Senior High School Voucher Program in-service training, research. PEAC serve as DepEd's partner to administer the GASPE programs. The Private Education Assistance Committee has been contracted by the DepEd to administer the ESC and TSS programs. PEAC is a trustee of the Fund for Assistance to Private Education, a perpetual fund created to provide assistance to private education in the country. PEAC is represented nationally by its national secretariat and in each region by its regional secretariats. The fund assistance to private education was a part of a special fund for education set aside by the American government in year 1963. This is from the surplus funds authorized by the War Damage Act of 1962. The latter, in turn, was actually a supplement to the Philippine Rehabilitation Act of 1946, which authorized the payment of private claims to damages sustained during the Second World War. For more information and details, visit www.pac.org.ph. As mentioned earlier, the GASPE programs are as follows, and we will discuss them one by one. The first among the program is the Education Service Contracting, or ESC. ESC serve as the partnership program by the Department of Education that aim at decongesting overcrowded public junior high schools. In ESC, the excess capacities of certified private junior high schools are contracted through slot allocation for students who would otherwise have gone to public schools. The slots come from subsidies called ESC grants and the program beneficiaries are called ESC grantees. Teacher Salary Subsidy or TSS The Teacher Salary Subsidy is a program where an annual government subsidy is provided to qualified teachers in ESC participating junior high school. Such teachers are called TSS recipients. Maybe the question is, who are the Teacher Salary Subsidy recipients? Teachers in ESC participating junior high school that meet the following condition qualify for the TSS. 1. With a valid PRC license or pass the licensure examination for teachers by October of the current school year. Number 2. The teacher is a full-time employee in the junior high school. And number 3. The teacher is teaching a subject in the DepEd curriculum for junior high school at least 180 minutes per week. is the Senior High School Voucher Program. The Senior High School Voucher Program is a program of financial assistance wherein subsidies in the form of vouchers are provided to qualified senior high school learners in participating private or non dep ed public schools. 
The next one is in-service training or inset. The junior high school inset is a three-day, two-track that is regular and advanced training program that is designed for grade 7 to 10 teachers in private schools. The senior high school inset, on the other hand, is a three-day training for teachers who will handle the grade 11 and 12 core subjects. The PEAC is accredited by the Professional Regulation Commission or PRC as a Continuing Professional Development or CPD provider. Participants of the trainings conducted by PEAC who are licensed teachers can earn credit units for the renewal of their licenses. Among the GASPE program is research. The Research and Innovation for Success in Education, or RISE, is a mechanism approved by PAC to encourage the conduct of research on Philippine basic education by higher educational institutions and private educational associations with research capacity as well as research organization with a proven track record in particular fields so that as to generate knowledge on areas that affect Philippine basic education particularly on education policies and programs that aim to improve the access to quality education. The GASPE Programs Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something from this talk. For more information on programs like this, you can visit my YouTube channel Chalk Talks and visit the website www.pac.org.ph I will leave you with this PEAC video. It is difficult to imagine the Philippine educational landscape without the private schools. The private schools help the state fulfill its mandate of making quality education accessible to all Filipinos. It is in recognition of this role that the Fund for Assistance to Private Education, a permanent trust fund for private education, was established through Executive Order 156 on November 5, 1968. The Private Education Assistance Committee, or the PEAC, was created as the trustee of the fund. The PEAC is composed of the Secretary of Education as the ex officio chair and a representative each from the National Economic Development Authority, Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines, Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities, an association of Christian schools, colleges, and universities. For the development of private education, the PEAC takes on the role of funder, advocate, partner, and enabler. A national secretariat headed by an executive director executes the policies, programs, and initiatives of the PEAC for private education. In 1989, a landmark piece of legislation RA 6728 or the Government Assistance to Students and Teachers in Private Education or GASPE was passed. The GASPE Act, which was amended by RA 8545 in 1998, institutionalized government assistance to private education in the country. The Educational Service Contracting or ESC, Teacher Salary Subsidy or TSS, Senior High School Voucher Program, the In-Service Training, or INSET, and Research are part of the Department of Education's GASPE program. The PEAC implements the GASPE program given the track record of the PEAC in program management. The PEAC has been involved in the development of the ESC from piloting a scheme which was a precursor to the ESC in 1982 to 1986 to implementing the ESC in 1986 to 1991 and from 1996 up to the present. The ESC today has close to a million beneficiaries. Part of the PEAC infrastructure for the GASPE program is the Regional Secretariat. The PEAC RS is headed by the Regional Program Director who designates a Regional Program Coordinator for the day-to-day -day program implementation in the region. The PEAC has the following responsibilities in the GASPA program. Orientation, ESC Certification, 
SHS voucher applications, processing, monitoring, resolving cases of schools with adverse findings, regular meetings and consultations with stakeholders, research and data gathering, in-service training. The PEAC is also accredited as a local continuing professional development or CPD provider by the Professional Regulation Commission or PRC. Participants of the INSET programs offered by the PEAC have the opportunity to earn the required CPD units for the renewal of their professional licenses. From 2012 to 2017, the PEAC trained a total of more than 70,000 junior high school teachers and since 2016, an estimated 17,000 SHS teachers. The PEAC also implements its own programs of assistance. The Assistance to Programs and Initiatives to Reform Education, or ASPIRE, gave funding support in the amount of $33.7 million to 99 projects of private educational associations since 2015 to 2016. The research for school improvement towards excellence has assisted 79 private school administrators and teachers writing their theses and dissertation since 2015 to 2016. The Dissemination Assistance to Research and Education, or DARE, has supported 16 faculty members who presented their papers in international conferences abroad since it was launched in 2016 to 2017. The Philippine Education Research Journal is an online resource for decision makers, policy makers, and practitioners in education. Its editorial board consists of highly respected educators and researchers. The Philippine Education Conference is an opportunity for school administrators and teachers to learn from educational leaders and experts here and abroad as they discuss educational issues, concerns, trends, and innovations. Recognizing the inherent strengths of the private schools in achieving excellence in Philippine education, the PEAC is committed to promoting private education as an integral part of our educational system.